this was the campground horror horror domain okay we made it to the hobbiton movie set and we're gonna go get some coffee and maybe some food before our tour some breakfast at hobbiton cafe it looks amazing yes, it is. yes we have a few minutes to eat before our tour and we are very excited Hello. hey good morning hi good morning good. That was really cool. Yeah. That was not what I was expecting. This is great. And now we get some beer. Cheers. 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 The best jams. We need we need this jams. on like I need um this on my Spotify. yeah radio. We just need radio in general. Yeah, we don't have radio in the band, <laughs> so we we would like music. annoying tours but they were exceptionally annoying and just 
like jumping over fences just to get a picture in front of like a little hobbit door. But other than that, highly recommended and it wasn't like crazy expensive. I mean, everything here is kind of expensive, but it's definitely worth the money. Um, then we grabbed the coffee and now we're on the road. Oh, and we got our free beer at the end of the tour. Which was, free. Which was Quote awesome. Unquote free. <laughs> I was saying it was an $85 beer and a free tour. We made it into the town of Rotorua. We're gonna get some food before we go sightseeing. And we originally were gonna go to this Mexican food place, but then we saw a sign for it's called the Whistle Pig. Whistle, whistle and Pig. Whistle and Pig. And pig. Whistle. Something, something like that. And we looked it up, and it's a historic brew pub. Yep. And it has like insane reviews, so it should be pretty good. There it is, Pig and Whistle. Yeah. So this is a historic building, apparently. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> Can you smell that? Yeah, it smells incredible. It smells absolutely incredible. is our little appetizer and it's chowder. What is the full name of it? Just seafood chowder. Oh, it's just seafood chowder. But looks like it's loaded. It smells real good. All right, then we got the fish and chips and they're bringing out um, another thing of fish soon, but this looks pretty tasty. This is our second piece and it is massive. <laughs> oh, mama. I don't even think we needed it. I know. Okay, we made it to the parking lot. Do you wanna go scenic? There are so many camper vans everywhere, but only one escape camper van out there. That's us. All right, we're on the scenic route to the geyser or whatever the heck we're going to because I don't even really know. <laughs> Let's see what's over this. Ooh, I see things steaming. Hey, we're good. We don't have to pay the entrance fee. This is good, right? Cheapo! <laughs> don't mind him. <laughs> Look at this cool thing. Waiotapu Thermal Wonderland. That's what it's called. Still don't know where we're what we're doing. <laughs> Definitely smells like sulfur. This is the Waiotapu stream. Oh yeah, it's steaming over there. It's definitely hot out today, so we had to put sunscreen on before we came in thankfully because whoo it's pretty hot and I'm pretty pale oh excuse you, Why you gotta hit me? it smells like sulfur or rotten egg and Owen was like good thing we're both used to it Hear that? All right, we were just at those. Here's another little area. It's so hot by these things. You can totally tell when you're standing near one. 
Just like when I stand next to Owen. That's right. All right, what do we got here? Some more boiling mud. I still think that'd be one of the worst ways to go. Do you want to test it out? Yeah, go ahead, I'll watch you. No, you first. I'll film you. Apparently there are like three paths just going all over the park. One of the paths is closed, but um, they said like it's not really a big deal because all the main attractions are on the other two and it takes about an hour to walk these two paths. So um, it's pretty good, pretty good little park, pretty good size. Um, it was 35 New Zealand dollars per person. So maybe what, like mid 20s, 27, 28, I don't know the conversion, American dollars. So it's not too bad. It's been pretty cool so far. Oh, wow. This is the famous one, apparently. It's beautiful. Okay, this is called the Artist's Palette. This area never looks the same two days in a row, changing depending on sunlight, water level, and wind direction. So the colors are exposed minerals. Or bird watching. Oh. To push you in? <laughs> I'm gonna pass. Look at that. It's really coming off. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, that's hot. The colors are so cool. So hot. <laughs> Flowers. Uh, and amongst the trees is unmarked ancestral burial ground. Oh. Which makes this area sacred. 1910. Whoa. Primrose Terrace Lookout. Oh, it's not impressed. What the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was the bird? The phantom. Wow, this is pretty. This is so green. This is so pretty. Why is it this color? 
from a deposit of minerals and it's refracting the sunlight. This is amazing. Better be very hookah y and falls -y. much calmer here. <laughs> I thought Hookah Falls was gonna be a waterfall, <laughs> but no, it's just like raging water. Still beautiful and awesome, just not what I was picturing, <laughs> but still pretty cool. And it was right on our way um, south, so easy place to stop. It's really pretty. back there trying to rearrange our kitchen items because they keep like banging around when we're driving and it's a little annoying however remember earlier when I said that New Zealand have some of the best drivers that I have ever seen um, at least for my initial thought well I part way take that back um, we are in the town of Taupo I think that's how you say it. Really cool town. We got gas, got a little bit of groceries, mailed off some postcards. It's been great. However, I was going in a roundabout and there was a car right in front of me going in the same roundabout and someone just like blew through the roundabout without looking and completely smashed into the car right in front of me. Um, it looked like everybody was okay, but they straight up smashed the other car and they didn't even look in the roundabout they just went and that was almost us because that car in front of me that got hit um actually pulled out in front of me so it forced me to have to go behind them in the roundabout so um obviously i'm thankful it wasn't us and i know that's selfish but um yeah that was kind of shocking i've actually never seen an accident like that before um like that that close to me so yeah everyone seems to be okay but um, not so great drivers like I originally thought. I mean, there's always mistakes, but that was pretty bad. All right, babe, so this is what in front of us? Lake Taupo, I think. I don't know how to say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. Love, say oh, I love, love that. Love Taupo. Don't you cross the streets. There we Woo! go, bud. All right, on the road again. It's so pretty. <laughs> okay, we made it to our next camp spot of the night we do have to pay however um oh my gosh the horsies however um hold on <laughs> so we do have to pay tonight but these same people who are letting us camp here are going to give us a shuttle ride to the beginning of the trail we're going to do tomorrow which we also have to pay for but yeah and this is beautiful so we're going to go set up all right, so this is our camp spot for the night. I think it's $20. And the shuttle for tomorrow is $35. We've got this beautiful forest back here. And the sun is starting to set. And we're pretty sure the Tongria Alpine Crossing 
is like this mountain thing here. I'm just assuming. And I still don't think I'm saying that correctly, but we're going with that for now. <laughs> There's only one other van here at the moment. So it's really quiet and it's really pretty. There's this stream right next to our campsite and Owen just saw a ton of trout and he's more excited than I've ever seen him before. Like more excited than when he married me. They were big trout. Okay. <laughs> Steve Irwin over here. Tracking trout. He really thinks he's gonna catch one with his hands. I don't know what he thinks he's gonna do with it. Would it be bad to leave my husband in New Zealand? All right, Owen and I are trying to get all packed up and ready for tomorrow. And then I look out of the window and there's this beautiful horse with this very beautiful sunset in the background. Look at it just chowing down. Hi, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty stormy up there. Not gonna be fun. <laughs> this is what um, camper van dinners look like sometimes. Cheese and whatever the heck these are. Eat up, gourmet din din. It looks really good. <laughs> we are waiting on the parking lot slash shuttle people to arrive so we can pay them. They're late and I really want to go to bed. And so we're hoping that they show up soon um, because we don't have a shuttle reserved for tomorrow because um, the like little website said that these people will just give you a shuttle and you can talk to them when, when you pay them and that they arrive between 8 to 8.30 p.m. And it's like 8.40 p.m. right now. So cross our fingers. Not, um, we'll just see how tomorrow goes.